in recording. All right, I will call to order um, the session of November 18th, 2021, Pontiac Blight Court. We could call in the first person that was logged in. Okay, admitting now. We cannot hear you. Can you hear us, sir? Yes, I hear you. Hello, my name is Paulette. I'm the hearing officer. How are you um, doing? And this is Light Court. Could you tell us what property you're here for, please? Uh, 570 Cesar Chavez. Is anyone finding that on, oh yes. Um, Elite Rundell Properties, is that correct? No, it's under Wasam Brico. Oh, I apologize, I was reading the one line lower, yes. Looks like this is enforcement number E212717. Um, looks like it's a complaint for trees and shrubs. Do we have an update on this one? Uh, update from me or from the city? Oh, nope just from uh, the city. One moment, then we'll give you an opportunity to speak, okay? All right, no problem. Good morning, sir. I'm Tammy Cooper. I'm a code enforcement officer with the city of Pontiac, and with me is Chris Anderson, also a code enforcement officer for the city. So right now. Yeah. All right, so that's as of 1013, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, sir, has that been um, fixed or taken down? What, what do you, what do you, uh, what's your complaint about? I don't, cause uh, I had already cleaned and mowed the grass and took the tree and, the, and there was a, a, a dump couch in the back of the building. Those are all cleaned and taken care of. I have pictures. So are you asking what trees in the pictures are the problem? Is that your question? No, I'm asking what is the problem? I don't see nothing, but I know that there was a tree that was down and there was a, a dump couch in the back of the building and the grass that needed to be mowed, which was all taken care of. As soon as I had received the notice, I had gotten on to it uh, a day after. So I don't, I don't understand what, what else uh, we need to do. What I'm seeing in these pictures, sir, correct me if I'm wrong, I see a lot of um, still weeds and, you know, maintain the building area too. Chris, can you zoom, can you pull it up? No, not, not, give me some more pictures, the prior pictures. It's all these weed trees and stuff that are around your building here. Is that removed too, sir? No, that's part of the landscape. That was right a here. tree that was, yeah, that's part of the landscape that's been there for years. Did you maintain the perimeter of the property? Yes, the tree, the tree, the tree has been removed uh, that was on the side of the building that had fell down. The couch that was grass. dumped, the couch that was dumped behind the building was removed, and the grass and the uh, and the weeds were trimmed and cut. Okay, is all this cut back a little bit? 
Yes, it has. Okay, now you know you have to maintain this throughout the year, sir. Do yes, you... no, I know. Okay, is this a vacant building? Yes, it is. Okay, is it registered as such? It's registered to me. Okay, with a vacant building, just note, we're not here for this, but just to keep in mind, every vacant building in the city needs to be registered as such. Okay. So my, what do we... my recommendation for this, for cleanup, is um, we can dismiss this for compliance, but I do need you to register your building as vacant. Okay, and how do, how do I go about doing that? You just go to the Building and Safety Department at City Hall. Okay. And tell them you have a vacant building, you need to register it vacant. I thought I, thought I had done that when I purchased the property. Chris, is there a, a vacant? There's, can you tell them, can you? Yeah, there are no vacant certifications um, on this property. Okay, sir, so you'll have to go uh, to City Hall and just register it as a vacant building. Do you understand that? Okay, yes. So I would go to the Woodward building? You would go to City Hall, yes. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, so this ticket uh, will be dismissed for compliance. And then we ask that you register uh, your building as vacant within 30 days. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. That concludes this matter. Have a good day. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Thank you. Joining us now is uh, City Attorney Anthony Chubb. Okay. Um, I can bring Carrie in if you'd like, Your Honor. Sure. Admitting Hello, Good morning, Ms. Lofton. How are you? Good. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> and Tammy, is Ms. Zanon uh, the SK representative? Um, hey, I'm not from a Menard Court, correct, Gary? Yeah, I'm here for SK, yes. But you're not here from Menard Court. For what? Menard Court. I am not here. Is Menard up? Is it up again today? Yeah, it is. I know. Um, I thought. We, uh, are these new ones? These aren't from last week. The last time then. Yes, they are. Yeah, these so are just from... unregistered rental. Yeah, and I can speak to all of these. So. Um, we have had continued compliance with regard to Maynard Court, and we are um, in making some substantial progress um, with the SK owner. You'll see on your docket, there are several SK LLCs, but they're all owned um, by Zvi Koslo, and he's been working really closely with both the building department and with code enforcement to get these um, buildings back uh, under code and uh, under building code and in compliance with with our code enforcement. And so I'd like to adjourn all of these one month to further comply, make sure um, compliance on all the SK LLCs. And once we get everything back up, then I wanna look at the total package that we have and try to come up with a reasonable way to resolve all these. Okay. That sounds like an acceptable resolution, if, especially if they're making progress forward. So what would be the return date in December? December 16th. I'm sorry, when? December 16th. Okay. Well, if you could forward that to the attorney that's in charge, Carrie, that would be great. It, yeah, I will. Either it's going to be me and they just haven't told me or, and so I'm always here. Lucky me. <laughs> but I, I know that he's been working on those and I know that even um, the ones that I, okay, yes. Even... Besides in our court, you have several other properties for SK on the docket today. I, I agree. I know about um, most of them. I know about, can we start with 474 South North Saginaw Street? No, maybe that's not the right address. Yeah, it is. Chris is pointing up. 
Okay. And just to confirm, you said 470 Saginaw? No, I said 474 North Saginaw Street. Gotcha. I'm looking at a notice for today. I, I have the number if you if that's easier. I don't see that one on the docket today, Jerry. You don't? Okay, well, let's find the next one. Then. You see it? Yeah, yeah I see it. Okay. okay. So it's for a rental inspection required. My understanding is all the ones that I have up today, um, the, the fees have been paid and they have been scheduled. So we're just waiting for the inspection. If I'm incorrect, somebody tell me, but that's what I've been told. Well, let's take one at a time. Chris, what's the outcome on this one? So it looks like there hasn't been one scheduled. Um, you can share the that fee has been paid. Could you share that screen? That, yeah. That screen that you're looking at. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like there hasn't been one scheduled um, for this property. No, it's not complied. It wasn't scheduled. That's no, there's no appointment pending. Right. Would you give me time to make sure that it gets scheduled? The light ticket was paid, which means when this comes up for reinspection, another light ticket will be issued if it's not scheduled. Okay, so if I can get her to hopefully get it scheduled today. Yeah, that would be great. My recommendation would be, yeah, just not to write another ticket if you schedule it today. That sounds appropriate. So are we um, adjourning or are we, I'm, I'm sorry, or are we just taking care of, just make sure that it gets scheduled today and then it'll resolve this one? It can resolve this one if you schedule today, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll make sure that it gets scheduled today. All right, any others we need to discuss? I, I think there's more. Lie. The last three of the one we were just on is what? Oh, the last three that we were on. Hang on. The last okay. three numbers of the okay. of the complaint we were just on. What I show is one seven zero. Okay. The next one that I'm showing that I have in my list is 805, and that's for 120 North Tasmania. And I don't think I have that one on my list. No, and I don't either. I don't know what list they gave you. I'm looking at notices. I just have notices. I don't have a list. I'm not that lucky. <laughs> um, how about, let me see. How about we go with 109 Lewis? Okay. Okay. 
So for this one, it looks like it's an unregistered rental. Um, and it was adjourned from the last meeting. So my did my understanding is she paid for it and registered or registered or got it scheduled. But and that's incorrect. Okay. Okay. Um if I get her to is is it paid for? There's four blight tickets on this one. We're unregistered rental. Chris, can you pop those open and see if they're paid? Yeah. Is that a five hundred dollar one or one? I can't see it. The five hundred dollar one is the most recent one. Yeah. And that's a five hundred dollar one. And that's a five hundred dollar one. So we have two five hundred dollar light tickets. Outstanding on this one. And they're both five hundred dollars. Chris, can you read those numbers? I think you got a micro time. Oh, read what numbers? Oh, the E two one that. Yeah. So the most recent enfor enforcement is E two one two one seven eight. Um, the previous one is E two one one nine zero eight. And then the eight. So don't worry about that one. The, the third one. There's three five hundred dollar tickets on this one. Right? Is there three? One, I just see two. Two of them. Okay. Okay. I'm being told that she paid for the rental inspection. She paid for the um. Um. The 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 fees. Can you tell me if she paid for the fees? No, she hasn't paid for any fees. Okay. Can you give me 30 more days to get this one done? I'll make sure that it gets um, the registration, whatever I can get done today, which would be pay for the registration. Is it or, um, we have and then, already had an adjournment to allow for registration and inspection. It's up to um I'm asking for one more. My recommendation is curious to pay the thousand dollars and the registration fees, but it's up to the judge. I, I guess I would, um, I can make sure that the registration fee gets paid today and hopefully um, the inspection scheduled as well. And then come back in, in 30 days to see if that's done so that I can try to get the, the fines to a lesser amount. That sounds like a fair resolution. Is everyone on board with that? If it can be done today, sure. And you'll make sure that gets done today, Carrie? I'm gonna tell her to get it done today as well as um, getting, yeah, the Saginaw registered today as well. Okay. All right. Any other ones we need to go over? There's quite a few. Let me just pull the list. We're just going down the list is the next one, 326 Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Um, now, Carrie is, Andy Leo, is that SK and our LLC? I so, believe so. I think, um, what, let me see, what, what property is it? 326 Martin Luther King Boulevard. 
I can check. Yeah, those are under SK Nahar LLC. I think so. I'm double checking. I can tell you which other one I know about. Sure. <laughs> if that would. Chris, can you check that LLC? No, I'm going to move the thing. I know, but does it say possible party and Leo? How about um, 356 Nelson? It's I have it as um, the last 3924. I don't see that one up. Okay. How about maybe they're fell off? How about um, 61, um, last 3957? What's the street? Um, six, 61 North Tasmania. I don't see Tasmania. Okay, no, I think she paid that. these. That's why they're not up. What about 180? Um, how about 169? Hey, I'm sorry. I carry that first one that you said. Um, I just saw it. I pulled it up and it is on the docket for today. Um, 356 Nelson. Okay. Hmm. Maybe you have a different number. Maybe that the one that I am showing, she paid that. So that's why it's falling off. I think she paid some of these. And I think that's why the ones that I have are not on your docket. <laughs> well, yeah, it hasn't been paid. The black what ticket is, is it's valid. Okay, so what is the ticket for? Yeah, it's for an unregistered rental. Okay. I'll share the screen. Give me one second. Okay. Though the ticket has been paid for. It has been? The ticket, yes. Oh, the ticket was paid for, but the unregistered rental isn't paid, isn't set yet. Okay. Taken care of. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. So we need to get this registered today as well? Yes. If, 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 okay. Registered and scheduled, Karen. Is that I'm sorry. If it if it gets registered, paid for, and then we comply. Okay. Carrie, will you be physically in City Hall today, or will somebody else be here? On me. Okay. Uh, um, I will. I will not. No, it won't be me, Chris. Okay. I'm sorry. I was there last night at five, <laughs> but I will not be there today. I have. Yeah. Gotcha. Do, do you know the person who will be coming in? I don't. Gotcha. Why? What do you need, Chris? I was wondering if we could just meet up so then I can give them like the list. It might be easier for them to, you know, figure everything out. Can I come get it um, next week? Would that work? Well, I if you're no registering them today, then you would oh, probably Oh, yeah, yeah, today. yeah. I see what you're saying. I don't know. Yeah. I think she usually, okay. I think she usually does everything online. Gotcha. Um, but that's why I'm saying, Chris, if you, I can try to come in next week. I have a funeral tomorrow. Otherwise, I would come tomorrow. But um, so. Okay. All right, what other properties does that, that does her associate need to register today? The Martin Luther King is not, uh, not mine. Okay. Sorry. So Chris, you wanna start on the second page with 312 Fisher? 312. Is that the one with the um all of the light abandoned vehicles mm -hmm. yeah uh, we we adjourned it last time to have the tenant clean it up did anybody go by because i was told that it was all cleaned up that's yours chris let me see no i have not been there to to verify if that's been 
update it. Now, do you have any evidence showing that it was cleaned up? Um, I'm checking. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know that Fisher was up. I mean, I should have, but I, I, no, they never sent us pictures. We asked the tenant to clean it up. I know that we did because I know this tenant. I've had this tenant in eviction a couple mornings and, um, but they are not on eviction now, but we did ask them to clean it up and she said she was working on it. Would you be agreeable to, I can, I can get somebody, I can get my court officer to go by and take pictures before the next hearing if, if you can't get out there, Chris. Yeah, that'll be great. I'll also do an inspection too. Okay. So can okay, we adjourn? So we'll adjourn uh, 312 Fisher for 30 days. Yep. Is that the 12 16th date, probably, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. What about 662 Homestead Drive, unregistered rental? I don't know if that's ours. Let me check. Homestead? Yes. It's under SK Delaware LLC. I've never heard of it, so I'm double checking. It is um. Yes, that's mine. 662 <laughs> Homestead. Okay. All right, and that's an unregistered rental. So let me scare this screen real quick. Okay. Certificate. Yes, it's for unregistered rental. Stop opening the certificate to pay. Yep, nothing's been paid or scheduled, Carrie. I'm sorry, what? Nothing has been paid or scheduled. And there's a $100 blight ticket. Um, Chris, can you read that E21? Yeah. So the enforcement number is E212851. OK. Um, so if I get, what if I get this one, the registration paid? and scheduled for inspection would that would you be okay with that or do you want us to pay a hundred dollars on this one this one i would recommend paying the hundred dollars and paying for the rent registration okay. because it needs a three hundred dollar registration and a hundred dollar inspection fee this one is that this one the, nothing is on this nothing is done on this one okay correct okay so that would be okay. my recommendation to pay the blight ticket also, but it's up to the judge. Okay, based on the number of uh, tickets that there are, um, I will assess $100 um, and ask that the property be registered today. Okay. Can I just have a couple, can I just have seven days to at least pay that or two weeks? Is that okay? That would be fine. I'll give you two weeks to pay. Okay, thank you. Is there anything else for me or my- 42 Montgomery. I'm sorry? 42 Montgomery. Isn't it Monterey? It is Monterey. It is Monterey, that I know, yep, okay. That one I have an eviction. So that, what is- um... It's a rental inspection required. So you need time to evict your tenants. Is that the problem? Yeah, they are not letting people in. Okay. Would everyone be okay with adjourning that 30 days since there has been an eviction filed and they are making progress to at least get the property ready for inspection? I'm agreeable to that. Okay, then let's adjourn. That's E212897. We'll adjourn that to this December date, 30 day adjournment. Got it. The ne next one is 312 Fisher. Is that yours, Carrie? We just did that one. 
Oh, I apologize. Um, right. How about 58 gauge? Okay. Let me double That's check. Unregistered rental. <laughs> That one's not paid, and there's a hundred dollar bike ticket on it. Okay. Um. So it, you said it needs to be registered. Is this the same thing? I'm sorry. I'm. Carrie, can you see our screen? I can, but it's very small for me. Okay. I just can you see my pointer here? No. Okay. No. What I, I guess I want to show you was all these red marks here, one, two, three, four letters have been sent out before a blight ticket. Okay. So I just want to make you aware. It's not that we see that SK Properties is not registered and we automatically write a blight ticket. There's been four letters to Andaleo to register this property and then okay. do a blight ticket. So it's for us, you know, um, the recommendation is to pay the blight ticket and also register this property, judge. Okay. I would ask for, you know, 30 days, but of course I leave it to you as the hearing officer. And that's, you're requesting a hundred dollar fine? Correct. And scheduling. Okay. So Carrie, do you, are you asking for registration today or just registration in a different period of time. Today. I'm getting, I know that they're asking today. I would ask for a little bit of time on this one because I she's got a couple that she's got to get done today. Um, if you want to, you know, find the blight ticket, I, I that's fine. I, you know, I'd rather pay the blight ticket and give a little time to get this one registered because we have so many to get done today. Okay. Um, I'll give you two weeks to pay the one hundred dollar blight ticket and two weeks to register the property. Thank you. I'm Thank sorry, you. Um, Magistrate Lofton. What, yes. what, what was your decision? Uh, two weeks to pay the fine and two weeks to register the property. Okay. And I'm showing a last one of Eight East Pike. Wait, I, I didn't hear you, Tammy. 811 East Pike. Okay. And that one is the same, it's unregistered rental. So it looks like this was registered. Um, yeah, it looks like this was registered and paid for. So okay. Is the recommendation to dismiss the ticket then? Yes. It needs to be scheduled though, Karen. Okay, I'll make sure it gets scheduled. But it, it... Okay, we'll dismiss the ticket as long as it's scheduled within 14 days. Or you call Perfect. to schedule it within 14 days, I should say. Okay. Okay, schedule this for inspection within 14 days, then dismissed. Okay. Okay, is that all for Carrie? Um, are you SK planning assets too, Carrie? <laughs> Just depends on the property. What's the property address? 134 Omar. Okay. I feel like they should just stick with one LLC. This has just gotten to be a bit confusing. This is such a, yeah, it's a pain, right? Um, 134 Omar is a rental inspection required. I think this is me too. I'm just going to go with it. This one looks like it's been complied. So my recommendation would be to dismiss. Yes, because it was complied in 2019 and you don't need an inspection every year. You need one every three years or change of tenant. Okay. Um, okay. So we will dismiss ticket number E212. 896 for 134 Omar. 
Yeah. Six so awesome. Is that it? Mike Road. Sadly, no. I think we have uh, 608 yeah. North Perry Street. Okay. That's a rental inspection required as well. And I think I have 608 North Perry and eviction. I gotta check. Let me double check before I tell you that. You know what it's scheduled though, Carrie. Is it, I'm it is scheduled? It is. Okay. Okay. So my will recommendation you... is to dismiss this one. Thank you. Okay. Right. So we will dismiss ticket E204169 for 608 North Perry Street. Um, the next one is 124 Kemp Street. That's a okay. rental inspection required as well. Has there been any progress on that one that we can see? No, there's nothing on that one at all whatsoever. Okay, can we have 30 days to get this one in compliance? Um, Chris, pull up that other bike ticket. Because I think there's two. There's one for inspection required. That was paid early on. Um, my recommendation is to pay the hundred dollars on this one. Nothing's been done on this one. Okay, um, I'll assess the hundred dollars, but give uh, two weeks to pay, fourteen days to pay. The amount was for three hundred, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it three hundred? Yes. Yeah. All right. Would you be asking for the for, for, for the full three hundred, please? I'm asking for a reduced amount, if possible. I will assess the three hundred dollars, but I'll give thirty days to pay. Okay. Thank you. And then it looks like the last one is six sixty seven Markle. Uh, I don't know about that one. Let me check. Can I check on that one? Yep, that's a SK Pontiac Assets one um, rental inspection required. Markle. Yes. Uh, can I mute? I'm going to mute you real quick so I can get a faster answer, okay? Yep. This um, 667 Markle. And that should be the last one. These pages are like micro print. Where's those dollar store glasses I bought? <laughs> Okay, I'm, oh, I am, yes, I'm Markle, it's me as well. Okay, sorry. Can you, oh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So that's rental inspection required as well? Um, yes. Or were, would you? The magistrate is muted. Oh. I apologize. What was the recommendation? We didn't. I don't think we got there. <laughs> um, we need a we need the rental inspection. I'm asking for time to get it done. This is a one hundred dollar light ticket. Again, three letters have been sent, Carrie, before this ticket before this light ticket ever gets issued. Um, I need her to, you know, start complying with the letters that come in so we don't have to write these flight tickets. If you could suggest that. I am. I know we're trying to get, that's why some of we've gotten, we're trying to get a handle on everything. I know a lot of these properties, some of these properties 
she just took over. So that's part of where we're, but whatever, whatever. So. Okay. On this one, there's a hundred dollar blight ticket. I recommend that they pick one and also register inspection. Okay, I will assess the hundred dollars, but based on the number of other fees that have been assessed, I'll give 30 days to pay and 30 days to set the inspection. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I think that is all for Carrie. It is. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate see you later. You, Carrie. Bye. Have a good day. Bye -bye. Have a nice Thanksgiving if I don't see you guys, okay? You too. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Um, I have Mr. Chubb joining again. I think. Or just his office. I think so. <laughs> I don't know. He has to be admitted. Do we have others in the waiting room? We do. Oh, there you are. Hello. Sorry. That's okay. I believe Gina was next, so Gina? I'll go ahead and admit her. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Could you please connect to audio? There we are. Hi, can you hear us? Hi, I can. Hi, um, my name is Hearing Officer Paulette Lofton. You're here today uh, for Blight Court. Could you tell us what property you're here for? 1011 Voorhees. Right. Is anyone seeing that on their docket? Yes, I'm pulling up the enforcement now. Okay, perfect. Let me share the screen. I don't okay. think that's on my docket. Hmm. All right, can someone read the enforcement number into the record since I'm not seeing that on my docket? It yes, it is uh, E201174 for rental inspection. Um, okay. Yeah, the, the date is for today, but it looks like everything's all good. It's been complied. It looks like it's been dismissed. Oh, um, it was dismissed. I was going to ask about that um, because we, we did pay that. We thought we were paying the rental fee inspection, the annual inspection, but it turns out we were actually paying for this ticket. Um, so I know Tammy had talked to my husband and she was going to have it dismissed. Does that make sense? Right, so you have already paid, um, but you're saying you're asking for the ticket to be dismissed and either the money to be reimbursed or to be applied to something else. It, yes, we actually, um, yeah, we didn't realize we were paying for the ticket. We thought we were paying the $100 towards the annual rental fee inspection. So we actually ended up paying that twice. And when Tammy had talked to my husband, she said that as long as it was paid, we would have the ticket dismissed. So we did pay it. And then um, we ended up paying the 200 instead of just 100. You would have to formally request a refund for um, the blight fee. I don't know if you'll get it, but okay. you would just have to formally request it. To, Is that in writing she needs to do in, that? In writing to um, our enforcement manager, Patrick Brzezowski. Okay, I have his card. Okay, good. Okay, so um, you know what you need to do, just write a formal letter requesting and explaining everything. And then yes. I think you are all set for today, but thank you very much for joining okay. us. Thank you, have a great day, everybody. You thank call. you. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Okay, and there's a call in. I'm gonna admit that person now. Alrighty. Hello, caller, can you hear us? 
Yeah, phone no. number. Oh, yes. Hello, sir. Uh, my name is Hearing Officer Paulette Lofton. Uh, you're appearing in Blight Court. Uh, what property are you here for? Uh, 241 Archman Street. Okay. Looks like that is uh, enforcement number E212775. Looks like it's an unregistered rental. Um, sir, we also have uh, two representatives from the city and code enforcement. So I'm going to ask them if there's been any progress on this property. Okay. Could you re repeat the address again? Yes, it is uh, 241 Osmond, O S M U N. Gotcha. Okay. Let me share the screen. Okay. So it looks like there hasn't been any progress on this enforcement. Is this a rental, sir? Uh, no. Do you live there? Do you live there yourself, sir, or just someone else? No, I live with my family, my wife and my kids. Okay. Um, do you own more than one property? Is this property your homestead? No, you this one. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Can we can we see why that why we thought it was a rental is something? Yeah, when something's not a hundred percent homestead, we um assume that it's either vacant or an unregistered yeah. rental. But let me confirm to see if anything's been updated that way. On this property way that we're showing on the screen, sir, it shows that you're zero percent homestead. Do you own another home other than this one? Uh, no. Okay. In order to uh, reside in a home, you should always go to Oakland County Equalization and register at a hundred percent homestead if you own or occupy it. Taxes will be much much cheaper. Do you live there, sir? Yes, I'm living. I'm living there. Oh my gosh, it was there full time. I'm sorry, say that again. Do you live there full time? Yes. Okay. So what you need to do is go to Oakland County Equalization, and you have to bring proof that you live there. Your driver's has to reflect that address, does it? Okay. That I need to represent. Yeah. And you have to apply for a hundred percent homestead. And then okay. when you when you do that, bring us the paper. We yeah. we can recommend adjourning this for thirty days for you to get that done. Alone. We're, we're, uh, what, what's the paperwork that needs to get filled out? It's 100% homestead at Oakland County Equalization at 250 Elizabeth Lake Road. You have to go there and apply for 100% homestead and then bring us the paper from there. Sir, do you understand what needs to be yeah, can you give me the address one more time? 250 Elizabeth Lake Road. Okay. All right, I'll uh, I'll make sure I get the paperwork filled out in the next uh, 30 days. And uh, is it just brought to you guys down at uh, Pontiac? It's at the city hall, correct. Okay. All okay, right, so thank you. My, you rec is, my recommendation ahead. is 30 days. It, it's, it's up to the magistrate. All right, so we'll adjourn this 30 days, sir. If you return and have this completed, most likely you will not have to pay a fine. 
if you do not, you are subject to the Blight Court uh, ticket fine. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. And what is his return date? On December 16th. Okay. So, sir, you need to log in just like you did today on December 16th. Even if you've completed everything, we still need you to log on to make sure that we have everything we need. Okay. Okay. All righty. Um, thank you very much for joining us today, sir. You're all set to hang up and log off. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more in the waiting room right now. I can no more. No more in the waiting room right now. Okay. Well, you want to wait another eight minutes, like we usually do till sure. ten. Uh, yes, and I can stop recording whenever you tell me. All right. Well, we'll just stand by. Okay.